Here's Jordan Poole with the ball. He takes one dribble, then throws the ball off the backboard for a Kyle Kuzma dunk. That was pretty nice, except when you look at the score. Yeah, guys, they were down 21 points at the time of that little show, and apparently the crowd was booing them for that. <laughs> Jordan Poole, a.k.a. Kid Splash, a.k.a. The Pool Party, was supposed to be Steph Curry's successor. In Golden State, time and time again, he showed that he had the handles, had the flash, and just like Steph, was able to hit shots from the parking lot. Then when it came to the eye test and the numbers test, he passed those with flying colors as he was instrumental in helping Curry and the Warriors win the 2022 championship. I mean, his ability to slice through defenses and his ability to hit deep threes were absolutely critical for the team's success. Launches. Without Poole, Steph Curry doesn't win his fourth ring that year. JP3 was so electrifying at the time that he even had all NBA talents like Paul George saying stuff like this. I think there's a lot of guys, given the opportunity, can become like elite number one guys. Give me one. Jordan Poole. Well, one championship and one bag later, with the Washington Wizards, it's been nothing like what Paul George envisioned. I mean, look at this. The Wizards are down 14 in the first quarter as Poole tries to nonchalantly walk to the three-point line to catch Porzingis off guard, only to get blocked. Then look at this play here, where Poole casually tries to mimic Steph Curry's no-look three, only to brick the ball pretty badly. Then look at this play here, where he's hunted down on defense during the crunch moments of the game and gets the game-winning bucket scored on him. Unfortunately, this has been pretty much the tail of the tape when it comes to the pool party leading a team, and it definitely raises the question, did Jordan Poole fool the NBA? You know, when Poole first got traded to the Washington Wizards, we all thought we were going to see Bradley Beal 2.0. Then in the preseason games, that thought was reinforced as he looked absolutely electrifying and even had a 41-point game that completely electrified Madison Square Garden. Ex-NBA players like former teammate Andre Iguodala and former stars like Gilbert Arenas were going crazy on Jordan Poole and the type of damage he was going to unleash onto the league. I mean, he's going to average 30. At least 25 yeah, plus. Yeah, for sure. 25 yeah. plus. Least, yeah. Easy. Easy. He's going he gonna to get to the line, and then at home, you got to give him a whistle at home. He's going to average 30 at home. And it's Chocolate City, so you know he's going to be in the stands. They got all the memes. Every time you see a bad chick, he's going to 40. Yeah, guys, as you've just heard, 25-plus is what ex-NBA stars believe Jordan Poole was going to average at away games, 30 at home, and whenever the baddies came out, 40 was what Iguodala said the pool party was going to put up. Hoopers were saying it. It was all over TikTok, Reddit, and heck, even I thought he'd be at least looking like a star, but here we are, a decent chunk into the season, and uh, the expectations in reality have been worlds apart. I mean, he's turning the ball over while trying to be fancy, he's shooting 30 feet air balls, and he's been completely sleeping on defense. To his credit, he has had a few electrifying moments that paused the NBA and had everyone saying, whoa, but those moments are far too few, and by and large, here's what Washington Wizards fans feel about him. Dude's a rogue who operates on his own instinct. Problem is, his instinct is to try and be flashy rather than make fundamental plays. All this, as this Reddit user posted, ends up with him missing wildly. That sounds very familiar, and if I had to point out one play in Golden State that really lives up to this Reddit user's feelings, it's when he took that deep three that got Steph so riled up that he threw his mouthpiece away, which resulted in an ejection. <laughs> anyway, so far in Washington, for the most part, he's been failing the eye test. Then when it comes to the numbers test, well, it's been even worse. The expectation surrounding him coming into the season, like I showed, was about 30 points per game. The expectations were that the Wizards were going to get Bradley Beal 2.0 a primetime bucket getter who could, if not win games, at least electrify the crowd. But uh, let's look at the numbers. He hasn't even put up 30 points once yet. 
Then uh, as for season averages, 15.5 points per game is the current number. 15.5. This is the lowest output he's produced over the last three seasons. He was scoring more as a backup guard in Golden State than as a primary scorer in Washington. Then on top of that, his efficiency has plummeted as well. 39% from the field and 81% at the free throw line is the lowest pool has ever shot since his rookie season. And according to the advanced analytics brought up by this Washington fan's Twitter account, he's been the worst NBA player this season. What the heck happened to Jordan Poole? Did he really fool the NBA? I mean, how does the quote-unquote worst NBA player get on a four-year $128 million contract? Well, my best hypothesis is that the same alligators that got Ja Morant got Jordan Poole. You see, at one point in time, there was no reason to doubt Poole's ability at all. When he was a part of Golden State in his first three seasons until his breakout year in 2022, he was the hardest working warrior. Anywhere you looked in the Warriors organization at the time, people were raving about his work ethic. Klay Thompson himself even said that Poole reminded him of his younger self, always in the gym, putting up shots, and putting in the work. There was nothing negative about Poole at all, and in 2022, I don't care what anyone says, the man was legit. I mean, that season he led the entire league in free throw percentages, then in 2022 playoff games, the man shot 51% from the field, 39% from three, and 91.5% for the free throw line against the most elite defenses in the league. That's something you just can't fake. At the time, Jordan Poole was truly a rock star and the talent was undeniable. But if I had to guess where things went wrong, I'd say it was this. You about to get a bag. We about to get a bag. We about to get a bag. We about to get a bag. <laughs> I'm not saying the Warriors shouldn't pay their young stars because that's ridiculous, but I believe the money and fame got to his head. Following that lucrative contract, reports were coming out that instead of being in the gym, JP3 was now out enjoying the finer things in life, like spending half a million dollars on an Ice Spice date. I mean, a friend of Ice Spice said he took her shopping for a full day, they bought clothes from Gucci, Louis Vuitton, and all that. Then, to further add smoke to this fire, with all the fame of being a main contributor to a championship team like Golden State, came his ego. That's probably what led to the whole Draymond Green fiasco, and it wasn't just Draymond either. The reports were that every warrior had some version of a problem with Jordan Poole. So, this goes back to the main question. Did Jordan Poole really fool the NBA? Well, the answer is yes and no. From watching every Warriors game and tuning into what he's been doing in Washington, he's undeniably talented. He could very well be Bradley Beal 2.0. But the only thing is, until he gets his head completely back into basketball, until he remembers the fundamentals of what made him a rock star to begin with, and until he humbles himself, he's going to be pretty much a Harlem Globetrotter out there on the NBA courts and one of the laughingstocks of the league.